Rabi Puratoki has been a tomato farmer for more than 20 years. He has tried different varieties of tomato seeds but found that every year they would be destroyed by disease and most would just wilt away during the monsoon season. <laughs> But Rabi was not alone. Farmers across the whole of Nepal had the same problem. A person who understood why is horticulturist Dr. Kedar Burathoki. Fortunately, Dr. Burathoki was already testing a wilt-resistant variety with a team of scientists at Nepal's National Agriculture Research Council. Six years and some intense research later, an organic, high-yielding, wilt- and disease-resistant local variety of tomato named Srijana, which incidentally means creation, was ready. Srijana's popularity grew as more farmers adopted it. From importing, Nepal is now self-sufficient and exporting tomatoes to North Indian states. Consumers love Srijana for its taste, and farmers prefer it because of its resistance and yield. By growing the variety, an average farmer can make more than 500 U.S. dollars profit even in the first season. Srijana has raised the living standards of families and brought about significant social changes. Since switching to Srijana, Rabi and his wife Muna have been able to send their two children to private schools and have also managed to set aside a small saving. This season, Rabi is leasing more land for Srijana plantation. For such a best-selling crop, it is surprising that it is not without its challenges. Rabi says that the biggest hurdle for farmers is the market. Dr. Burathoki and Rabi both recommend that the state be involved in organizing the marketing, waive taxes where necessary, and encourage private companies in the export of tomatoes so hard-working farmers get their fair share. And Dr. Burathoki is not sitting still. Encouraged by the success of Srijana and concerned that an outbreak of disease may wipe it out, Dr. Burathoki is now working on other local varieties which will be available for farmers to plant soon.